What's up, Fox Trotters? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, hello. It's so nice to see you all again. You guys look great. So I'm still feeling pretty awesome after passing my big test yesterday, as many of you know. And thank you to everyone for all of the well wishes and the congratulations. That was really nice to read. So thank you for that. And I did a poll today. I don't know if all of you saw. If you didn't, check that out and go vote on the poll. I was asking to see if you folks wanted to see, after this video, of course, if you wanted to see a Thrive video, a viewer submission video, or a classic MLM garbage video. So go ahead and vote. Let me know. It's kind of leaning towards the Thrive video at this point. So that might be what will end up happening. We'll see. And anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get into some good MLM garbage and uh, let's see where that takes us. Enjoy. <laughs> I'll tell you straight up, when I first saw this one as I was scrolling through the subreddit, I thought it was a plate of something else. <laughs> when you get asked to bring brownies to the picnic, they have to be special. <laughs> uh, oh my god, she put the orange oil in the- no! <laughs> Don't make people eat that, that's not fair. <laughs> well, the people who invited you to the picnic had absolutely zero intention of you putting oil in the brownies. They didn't want that. They wanted regular brownies or potato salad or whatever. Like, Don't bring your essential oil brownies to this picnic and like poison these unsuspecting victims. Like I'm laughing but it's really terrible at the same time. Like if someone showed up to my house and just randomly put this in the food and I found out about it later, I mean I wouldn't flip out at them well maybe I would I don't know I feel like I would I would be like I'd take them aside and and just tell them honestly like hey look thank you for bringing the brownies but next time please don't do that someone could have had a sensitivity to it or I don't know whatever I personally am not cool with eating oils you know uh, I wouldn't have made a scene but I, I would have talked to the person <laughs> so I don't know I just I wouldn't do this to anybody I actually cared about or even I didn't I didn't like I just wouldn't do this in general <laughs> just yeah, don't put essential oil in food for the last time. Why is this such a theme? <laughs> Stop telling people to put essential oil in food. It is not food. Food is food. Essential oil is essential oil. It is different. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Before and after photos. These are always 100% uh, truthful and never doctored. Ever, never, ever, ever, never. <laughs> Especially not from It Works. They never fabricate anything. I don't know why you would think that. Okay, so product used cleanser, time span 4 months and 20 days. Interesting. It's been 4 months and 20 days, you say. Hmm, so the acne on her chin took 4 months to heal. Okay, I feel like we need to zoom in on this one so we can get a better picture. Because, I don't know, I'm, I'm smelling BS. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay, right away. First of all, you can look just below my very well drawn on, uh, we'll call them fair use sunglasses. <laughs> uh, on the photo on the left, the before photo, she has some freckles just below her eye. You'll see there's two freckles right there. Uh, and then in the second photo, those apparently have also diminished in color as well. <laughs> um, so she's trying to convince everybody that uh, whatever face wash she had not only cleared up her acne but also lightened up her moles um, or freckles and whatnot, I, I guess. Like, it's just pretty obvious. She clearly just used some sort of editor to edit out the redness around her chin, her, her breakout down there, and it's clearly the same day. I mean, she used some sort of filter to whitewash that whole face because why would her freckles get more dim, you know, like that? That's not what facial cleansers are supposed to do. And if this facial cleanser is actually changing the color of your moles, then stop using it immediately and go see a dermatologist. Because in that case, you're having a bad reaction and that's really, really bad. <laughs> but you know what also is bad? Lying. Lying is bad. Constantly broke? That ain't it, sis. Living paycheck to paycheck, stressing about money, not having genuine friendships, not being able to have the freedom to say yes. None of that is it. That used to be me. That's why I tell you it's not. I was afraid of never being able to consider the dreams I have, afraid of not breaking the cycle, afraid that I would be broke my whole life and never get out of the sad feeling that all I could feel was anxiety about money, the selfish and hurtful people I surround myself with, and a mediocre routine of going through the exhausting motions with no passion or excitement. Then I found this, and I found the courage to go for it. $99 brought me genuine and uplifting friendships, a path to financial freedom, and this life you have watched me start to build. I say start because this is 
literally just the beginning. It's $99 for you today, and it's time for you to realize that this life you're living ain't it. Text me, sis. Oh my god, that hurt me, like, physically to do that. I love doing the Hanbot voice, but I'm telling you that physically hurt. <laughs> oh man, for so many reasons. <laughs> First of all, the overuse of the word sis is, um, well, it's overwhelming. <laughs> and uh, the whole fear tactic, uh, you know, cueing into people's fear of not breaking the cycle, fear of people needing money, you know, people needing money, and the anxiety of like, can I pay rent? Just the fear mongering in general. And then it's like, oh, this $99 brought me genuine and uplifting friendships. Like, that's a load of crap. No real friendship would make you spend any money to, to have that friendship. Like, any of my good friends never would need a dime from me and, and, and have never needed a dime. And it's just, I don't know, the, the type of friendships you're building if you're in an MLM, I promise you those are not the real friends. You might think they are because they're really powdering your behind right now, telling you how great they are because they need you to make money for them. But trust me, they don't care about you. <laughs> they, uh, not in the way that your actual family and friends do. I mean, every situation's different. I understand that. But you all understand what I'm saying. <laughs> this ain't it. Oh my god, that's so annoying. That phrase is going to be stuck in my head. Watch later today. That's just going to pop out of my mouth. Like, that ain't it, sis. I'm like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I need to take a break. <laughs> Oh, gross. Saw these in a Target bathroom. Someone must be desperate. Yeah, no kidding. They're really desperate. I mean, in a Target too, right, where people are going to purchase things like bug spray and makeup products. <laughs> and then this Avon consultant presenter. Unique, unique calls them presenters. I have to figure, I need to get better at figuring out what the terms are because each MLM calls their their uh, uh, <laughs> members <laughs> something different. So, I don't know, but this is really sad and also gross and just, um, I just imagine anybody who's in that bathroom who's like needing bug spray or makeup will just look at that on the counter and then be like, okay, and then just walk out into the store where they can go buy those things for probably a better price. <laughs> um, I've heard people in the past tell me about Skin So Soft from Avon saying it's like the best thing for mosquitoes, but... I don't know. I feel there's other stuff that works too, and I would just rather not support a company like that. Like, that's just me. Like, if you really love Skin So Soft, then go ahead and keep buying it. You know, I know a lot of people, their grandmas and stuff used to wear it and whatnot. So, I mean, it's whatever, but I just personally, I'm good. <laughs> I think I'm good. Also, did you know that uh, oranges, if you eat a lot of oranges, it makes you taste really bad to mosquitoes? I'm actually, uh, I've been trying to eat a lot more oranges lately, and I don't know if it's helping. Maybe it's all placebo. It could be BS, but I just feel like it somehow works. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> I guess I'll find out soon. Soon enough. <laughs> A college acquaintance who has graduated shared an educated and life-changing choice today, stuck on if I should speak up or not. Oh no, and it's LuLaRoe. Oh god, and it was only posted 11 hours ago. Oh, people are still buying into this. Oh my god. Okay, okay, here we go. So excited to officially announce that I have been working on opening my own business with LuLaRoe. I love Lula because of its quality, style, and comfort. LuLaRoe has increased my self-confidence and allowed me to express myself, which makes me so honored to have this opportunity to share LuLaRoe with other people. I absolutely cannot wait to see where this journey takes me. I will be launching in August, so be on the lookout. A huge shout out and thank you to Blank Blank Blank, ruining my life, Blank Blank Blank, for helping me become a business owner and making it a reality. Hashtag LuLaRoe. <laughs> and the picture, whoever edited that, that was not my editing, so I can't take credit for it. <laughs> I feel like uh, the the sad face is really more of how we're all feeling, because I'm sure at this moment she's still feeling a lot of joy over her choice. And it's just sad. It's like dramatic foreshadowing and like a Shakespeare play. Like we already know what's going to happen to her, and it makes us all kind of sad. And she's blissfully ignorant and doesn't know what's coming her way. And oh my god. Ouch. Yeah, what do you guys think? Tell me below in the comments. What do you think? Should uh, should this person say something? Yes or no? I mean, it, she did say it's just an acquaintance, so it's not like it's a really good friend or a, you know, a close family member, but um, I don't know. I, I'm torn on these things. I thought when I started this channel that I knew how I felt about this, then I had a personal experience, and lo and behold, I didn't know how to handle it, so I don't know. Give me some advice. What do you guys think this person should do? I'd like to, I'd like to read those comments below. What? What? How do you go from a PhD in biochemistry to an MLM? 
Look at that education. Studied biochemistry at Vanderbilt, biochemistry at Virginia Tech, works at Roden and Fields. Oh God, I could just bang my head on the table, but I won't because that would hurt. But I mean, <laughs> ooh, I want to know the story there on that one. I'm curious, are they a consultant in the MLM or do they work like in the labs at Roden and Fields? Because that's probably also a very real job. They do have to have a lab somewhere where people are working, making these expensive concoctions of miracle growth eyelash serum of quote unquote questionable ingredients. Whatever, whatever. I won't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's for another video. But um, yeah, no, I, I wonder how many times uh, this is probably, unfortunately, this is probably not a rare occurrence where people who are really intelligent, seemingly so, leave whatever background they have to pursue this avenue. And uh, let it be known, there is absolutely nothing wrong with like doing an entire career shakeup. I've done it a couple times and there's nothing wrong with that. You do not have to do the same thing forever. Absolutely not. You can work for someone else if you don't like where you're working now. That's totally true. Um, but this is just one of those leaps where it just kind of makes you just kind of scratch your head like, oh, I wonder if there's a story there. <laughs> Actually sad about this one. She's been hunned by a friend of mine who has 1500 plus in her downline now and is struggling to feed her family because of it. She's blaming her friends for lack of support on the whole matter. Well, I'm not going to read this one in the Hunbot voice just because of the level of severity feels a little higher on this one. Wish I had the support I'd like to have. I keep busting my butt, doing my best, and never get the support I'd like to have. Oh, sad. Oh, uh, it's so sad because if she's been recruited by someone who has 1,500 in her downline, like that, her her upline cares nothing about her. Her upline, as far as they're as, as far as they are concerned, they've already made their money uh, from her, so it doesn't matter what she does at this point. Uh, they'll they'll keep sucking money out of her as much as they can, but like they don't have anything invested in her at all. And that's really sad. And of course it makes, you know, cause it, there's a whole psychological aspect, right? So she's turning now on her friends and family for lack of support during the whole matter. And uh, that's an unfortunate side effect. Um, part of the MLM tactic is, you know, if you're not with us, you're against us. And if you're against us, well then we're gonna shun you and pretend like you're a monster for not wanting to buy stuff. I mean, it's just, it's, you know that something has infected their brain to the point where they're thinking that their friends owe them by buying their stuff. Like that is not how it, friendship has ever worked. So it's just, you just know that they've been worked over in their brain. They've been, they've been brainwashed, you know, it's just, yeah, it is really sad. That is a sad one. Sorry guys, this, this video has been kind of a Debbie downer. I'm sorry. And to anyone named Debbie, I am sorry for that too. Debbies are great. I like Debbies. Uh, and Karens, you guys are great too. You guys all get a bad rap. <laughs> and negative Nancys for that matter. I know a Nancy. I have a Nancy as a friend and she is great and she is definitely not a negative person at all. <laughs> this is a fundraiser for a local animal rescue. Okay. Oh no. I can already tell you this one's going to hit way too close to home for me. In fact, I hear it knocking at the front door as I speak. <laughs> But you folks know how passionate I am about animal rescue and et cetera, et cetera. So I can already feel my blood pressure rising. So let's go ahead and read this together in our best Hanbot voice. Deep breath. Save the date. All these and more under one roof. Some consultants traveling a few hours to be here for this event. A perfect opportunity to hold an envy jewelry party later in the afternoon or evening while Deb is in town. Who is Deb? Stop by Marty K. <laughs> Marty K. <laughs> Stop by Marty K for a hand or neck massage and then wander throughout 25 plus sites. Retail therapy, start your Christmas shopping early, a ladies arvo out or just because you can. Ladies arvo? Did they mean to type day and just spelled it wrong? If, if arvo is something, please let me know below. I know I get stuff wrong a lot, so let me know if that is. Otherwise, I think that's supposed to be another word. Enjoy a coffee or a bite to eat while waiting for the raffles or lucky door prizes to be drawn. We will hold a 100 square fundraiser. A 100? <laughs> okay, 100 square. For $5, you can win yourself one of seven $50 vouchers to spend on the day. Conditions apply. Oh, while supporting the rescue. Okay, first of all, I want to say that if they did donate any money at all to the rescue, any at all, then thank you. That's a good thing. And... And regardless of whatever ulterior motives that you have for it, thank you for donating. That's wonderful, and I, I appreciate it, uh, regardless. 
that aside, let's go ahead and now we're going to look at all the different quote unquote consultants who are going to be here who have apparently traveled hours to get here. Oh my God, right? <laughs> Amway, Arbon, doTERRA, Herbalife, uh, Norwex. What am I missing? We got, we got Sensi, Ronin Fields, Tupperware. Yeah, Tupperware is kind of doing some weird stuff lately. I know that they've been legitimate in the past, but they're kind of starting to do some things that make me feel a little funny, kind of like what Avon did before they made their big switch. Oh, I see Unique down there as well. Oh, how very exciting, exciting. Oh, look at all that good, good stuff. I mean, I, the, the, the compassionate side of me wants to say, these people have the best intent. They're just raising money for dogs. Who cares how they raise it? Like, I want to say that, but... We all know that none of this stuff was ever done with the intent of like just doing a good service. These people clearly all did that in hoping of growing their quote unquote businesses. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't to save the dogs. It was to get their upline another commission, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know. That's just, that just makes me feel all sorts of ways. I want to be grateful for, for helping the animals, but... I also am not happy about how the money was made, right? Like, I don't know. I feel like if I'm not donating, I shouldn't be able to talk any smack. I don't know. I'm conflicted. I don't like it. <laughs> and if you thought I was going to let you get away without seeing at least one terrible LuLaRoe outfit, well, folks, you were wrong because here it is. <laughs> um, so many ways to wear a maxi, ladies. And a maxi, okay, remember, I don't know anything about clothes, right? So maxi, those are the long dresses, right? Like a maxi dress, those are the ones that like go like full length, right? Okay, so that would mean... <laughs> so she's just got the skirt, like instead of pulling the dress down, letting it fall, she just, like, you know, when you're getting dressed and you're pulling your dress on and it's like all around your shoulders, <laughs> Like, she just was like, ta-da, I'm dressed. Like, she just left it like that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I guess, okay, if you were at the pool and, like, uh, you needed to run to the bar real quick to go grab yourself a cocktail and you needed to, like, cover yourself with something, I guess, if there was no towel around, fine, you can do this, I guess. But it seems like you'd have to take more steps <laughs> to do it. And also... It just isn't going to look right because that is not how the item of clothing was designed to be worn. So it's just not ever going to look normal or natural. But like whatever, Lula Hacks. Get it, Lula Hacks. So useful. Oh man, saving women time and effort and money all over the place. Lula Hacks. <laughs> And for the obligatory cute animal photo, we're going to have three once again, and we're going to start off with Albus, who is a well-known bathroom rabble rouser and loves to cuddle on his human pet, Rebecca. Thank you, Rebecca, for sending that in. And next up, we have Osho, and this was sent to me by Christine, who is actually from the UK. Osho is her parents' dog, and he is Latvian, but he is uh, multiversed in the international language of Bork speak, so that's wonderful. And next up, we have Snow, spelled without the W, and Snow is a seven-year-old adorable Shibu Inu. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Even in my notes, I have like 12 U's written down. Cute. And recently he was diagnosed with hyperthyroidism, so wish him well. And thank you, Alyssa, for sending this photo my way. And if you're looking to get a new member of your family, I definitely recommend to adopt, not shop. Check out your local shelters, your local humane societies. Donate if you can. Volunteer if you can. And don't forget to spay new to your pets. And if you would like to see a photo of your pet here, then go ahead and send it to my email, which is in my channel description. And I look forward to seeing all the photos of your pets, and you will see them here eventually. All right, Fox Trotters, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked that video, please hit the like button down below. If you have any good comments or suggestions, leave that down below as well. I love interacting with you, and I read every comment I get, or I do my best to anyway. So comment away. I love seeing them. And if you are not already, please hit that subscribe button and become a Fox Trotter. Come join the den. Den Mother would love to have you. Thank you all so much for all of the support while I was going through that crazy time with my test. It's so great to be out of the woods, and I can't wait to just bring you guys all of the great content. I'm having so much fun with this channel and I can't wait to see it grow it's just really exciting stuff I feel like I'm learning a lot I feel like I've come a long way I mean I'm still such a noob at all of this but I mean compared to my earlier videos which is funny just two months ago right but my earlier videos were so <laughs> rough but hey you know what I had fun making them and I have no regrets none whatsoever so thank you all for all the support and as always until the next video take care